What's up guys, my name is Slip, and welcome back to Plasboys, and uh, we're back with Slime Rancher 2, so this is going to be pretty cool, I'm looking forward to getting back to this game, took a little bit of a break, about a week, so hopefully it's not too bad snapping back into this. So before I started guys, I just uh, took care of the cotton hunters and the tabby rock slimes, just to make sure we have to feed them, figured I'd save you guys the effort of that, as more stuff's growing, makes me look like a liar. I gave them carrots because they were very angry, and this was taking a little too long, and I didn't want to make them wait much longer and get them upset. So I just figured I'd take care of that, save you guys a little bit of that. I did, um, so yeah. In fact, I think, let's see, can I buy... I can, so let's, let's buy this, you know. Now that we got these ready to go, instead of waiting for them to shoot them in, let's just take care of this right now. Saves us the trouble, allows us to get away from them and not have to worry about it. And because I just fed them, I'm not worried about them uh, needing food all that much, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna put it on, not that, not that fast, just slow, nice and slow. So it'll space out pretty decently. So, we're just gonna go with that. I think it's good here, and what we'll do actually is we're gonna buy the auto feeder for this as well. And I'm just gonna collect the food that's in there. I'm really the water by this. I just realized, do you really do a really prominent slime? <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, let's just, uh. Uh, they're on the way. Okay, uh, they're all in there, right? Yeah. So we're gonna knock this down the slope as well, just because we don't have such like, a heavy amount of food coming in. I really feel comfortable with doing that. So. Okay, I know I just said I was gonna do this ahead of time to save you guys the trouble watching, but... I just got handle really quickly. Just get out of the way. It'll be quick. See, that's why I put it on slow because it's already shooting out. So it's not like super slow, but it's not super fast. <sighs> there. Completely clean. So, um, right. So I think what the plan is for today is going to be. Going back out to the, I believe it's called the Starlight Range. And uh, we're gonna check that out, maybe explore a little bit deeper and maybe find some more slimes. Cause I know that the, uh, the honeycomb slimes are out there. I wanna check them out. But first let's talk to Ogden. I haven't seen him in a while. Hola Beatrix, are you there? It's me, Ogden Ortiz. I can't believe I'm using that voice. It just seems fitting to him. We're gonna go with it. I hear an off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger and maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies the world has never seen before. You know, I had to ask, ever since you got me a steady supply of Kukadoba fruits, I've been reaching for even greater culinary heights within the far, far range. Of course, I'm getting pretty tired of eating Kukadoba pie, Kukadoba souffle, Kukadoba pudding, Kuka... I didn't realize I gave him that much Kukadoba in the last game. Jeez, that's a lot of kookadoba. Kookadoba? Kookadoba. I'm running other ideas in willpower. Yeah, I, you know what? I feel that. So if you see something new, please tell me about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know all about the new flora and fauna you discover. Never forget, every bit of this wide world is precious and worth our care and respect. And stay hydrated out there. All that adventure will work up a sweat, so take this water tap. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted. I'm rooting for you. Interesting. Okay. I'm trying to give us the water tap. So, the water tap's just kind of like a... F it, it basically, it's like a water well that you can activate. Which is better for once we have the... Vacuum. Um, the water vacuum upgrade. In fact, let's check that out before going... How do I get down there? I mean, oh god. Uh, how do I get lost in my own thing? Here. Um, it's a really good upgrade for if we encounter more tar, and that's become quite a bit of an issue. So let's see if we can get that upgrade. Or do I need to? I need to put things into it. So let's see. Uh, resource harvester. Oh, okay. 
Pulse Wave. Ooh. Tank Guard and salvages 20% of your tank upon accidental encounters with the slimes. Oh! So that's what the Tank Guard is. Okay. We have to find these things. But we'll do that in a bit. We don't have anything else. So it looks like we need to start putting ports into the refinery. And these are the ones to start with. Resource Harvester, Heart Module, Power Core, and Water Tanks a little bit down the ways. So, Radiant Ore, yeah, jeez. So I guess we're just gonna, oh, jeez, okay, we should really try to get these. Okay. Oh, I just realized that Resource Harvester upgrade, that replaces the old way of doing that. So the old way of doing resource harvesting was you put down these machines and they would just kind of drill into the earth or pump um pump like water out of the ground that's how it used to work but i guess they kind of were like it's a little bit cumbersome of a process so we'll just make it so you can actually collect things from your backpack which i think makes more sense speaking from the fact that we can harvest things you know like we can physically harvest things as we go around the world so i think that's a much better idea and I'm kind of glad they did that. I wonder why they changed that personally, but I'm not gonna complain. Again, I think it's a better process. So I'm gonna rock with it. I'm just gonna agree with it and let it be. So like I said, we're gonna head back over to here. I believe this is called the Starlight Reach. I forget, we're gonna find out. I take a swig of sponsored Gatorade. No, I wish that. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. But I think only sports teams get Gatorade sponsors. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. It's over. Okay. Jetpack upgrade. I think this plane has really low gravity or beach or Scott jumps. That's why we need a water <laughs> Oh god, I'm just gonna run for it. Jesus. I don't know if anybody will get that reference. I mean, you just don't cheese it. I should just skip. I should just skip instead of talking to you guys. Save you guys the trouble on the watch up to this point, but... Oh. Oh, no. Um. So, yeah. It looks like the Tar have severely invaded this area. Didn't expect that. So, we're just gonna kind of ditch. We're just gonna let them, uh... Let them sort that out. Let that be their problem. So as we came over here, we ran into the Hunter Gordo, which is going to take a little bit to do as we need a lot of meat for that. And I don't really have a lot of meat in access. I don't want to get rid of it. So we're going to head out this way. Pink Rock Largos. And they're angry. So actually, we'll collect um, meat as we travel and try to get enough to take care of the Gordo. But let's check out this area. Okay, and here we do the honey slimes. I want to see what these guys look like now. Oh, they look. Oh, okay. Go away. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. They hurt. Oh my god. They hurt. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. I don't think they hurt that much in the old game. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think they up the damage. That must be the other side. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um. Okay, that got a little intense. I'm just gonna hide in here really quickly. Cube. Oh, he's nice. Okay, whoa. This is pretty cool, actually. Are we gonna... It's probably just another recipe or gadget. Storage cell, yeah. Use fabricated to upgrade the Vax tank booster. Okay. And we can't access that side. Gotcha. This is a neat little cut through. Oh, you know what? That might connect back to the start with the honey slimes. I'm gonna actually collect a couple of these guys because they're just too cute to pass. Let's be honest. I think what we'll do is we'll combine them with pink slimes. Just because. Mint mangoes, okay. Just because they're really good to farm and.
pink slimes don't have a fan of food, which makes them very difficult to farm because they don't have the poor increases. You know, they don't have a favorite food to duplicate their ports with. Oh my god! Neat. Or we might be combining them with these guys. Look at you! Look at him! Oh man. Okay. We're gonna ditch the con ports and I'm actually gonna. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's too funny. He blinds the other guys. Okay, so. That makes sense. So I guess if you get too close, they will blind you? Is it. What the. That's a seagull. That's not a chicken. That's a seagull. Can we just admit that that's a seagull? Please. Don't call it a sea hen. That's a seagull. And that's an harvestable. It's like mud spraying out of the ground. Wow. Okay. This just got more interesting. Wow. So, hold on. I'm gonna walk up to him. I know I really shouldn't. What? Let me... Oh, okay, they do give like a flash of light to be blinding to some degree. Yeah, angle slimes collected. Man. Oh, this is so cool. I just love this game so much. I don't know who came up with this idea or how they came up with it, but it's just such a gem of a game. I can't I can't insult it. It's just there's so much to explore. You get lost in the world, and like I'm trying to commentate and not like stop talking, but it's so hard with this game sometimes because it's just, it's such. Oh my god, it's also huge. Like, I can just keep going on and on. I'm trying not to like get super lost here, but I mean, how do you not? It just keeps going. It's truly a miraculous game. I love it so much. I think we're not going to keep going that way for now, just because we have other things to take care of, like collecting enough uh, hens and to take care of the Hunter Gordo. We just discovered this, and there's just tons of these guys. I mean, look at them. I think they actually have lower jumps than the rest of them. They just like, move like fish out of water, which I love, that little detail. But... Yeah, jeez. Okay, well, I, I think we're going to try to take these guys back so we can take care of um, forts and stuff. I'm also wondering, can I find another mini-mango possible out here? Or is that... Oh, let's go get that. If we can figure out how to get up there, that is. This is where we came from, so... Is it gonna be simple or is it? Yeah, well, it's gonna be difficult to get that map. How are we? Oh, look at him! Almost missed that guy. The big, uh. Big honey wargo. Worth a shot. Definitely worth a shot. Um. Okay. Getting to the map is gonna be difficult though, because I do want to get to that, because that'll be very helpful. I just don't know how to get over there. I know there's a bunch of tar, I gotta ignore it. Oh, actually, this proved to be easier than I thought it would be. Rainbow Island, that's what it was. Not. Oh, that's only a chunk of it. Wow. There is a lot to explore here. Jeez. Okay. All right, wow. I thought there was gonna be like... Man, they really put time and effort into this to develop a much bigger world. So I can definitely see how they're going to expand this game more and more. This is another route that I can't access right now, but it's another route. I see how they're going to expand it, and I already see how they have expanded it, but 
Jeez, I don't know if I was ready for it to be as, you know, big as it is. I think it definitely caught me off guard personally. I just didn't expect it. It's really cool though, I love it. It's really nice to see like this huge expanse on the world itself. Yeah, this is so cool. In my opinion, this is just so, so awesome. I know I'm being very scatterbrained about this, it's just, it's such a hard, it's kind of hard to stay, like, on a singular track in this game. And I'm gonna go back to, like, Stardew comparison-wise, like, I know it, it, it plays a lot like, not plays a lot like Stardew, it plays much different than Stardew, but it has the same type of concept, you know, you explore the world, maintain a ranch or farm, and, uh, you know, just kind of keep, like, a good, I guess, work-life balance is the best way to put it. But it's so hard because you run into these things like Gordos, you know, like I found like the, the um, Honey Gordo while we were just randomly exploring. There it is. Um, you know, finding the, the Honey Gordo by accident, you know, it's just these constant things are just bumping into it. There's no intent behind it. It's just, it happens. Can you please eat this? Thank you. Okay. Bam. Alright. Just because I want to unlock this. But it's very hard to stay on topic in this game, you know, because there's so much to see, there's so much to do in this floor. And we just made a very good, useful cut through this place. Sick. So we can jump an entire section if we need to. Or have a quick way back. So I think that was a smart move. But uh, yeah, I will be right back. I'm going to jump back to the farm and uh, try to establish our hunter. Uh, to our honey angler slime, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back at the um, conservatory, and I was just about to basically establish the honey angler slimes. You know, get them going. I'm actually going to start with their garden. You know, get them a uh, food source. But, uh, on my way back, a friend texted me that apparently on Twitter... Ukraine, shout out to them, you know, uh, shout out, I guess not shout out, but uh, I, I do feel for them, they're struggling right now with what's going on, and I feel really bad for that, not to try to make content off of what they're going through, I really do feel bad for them out there, they're really, uh, they're putting up a good fight, you know, I just feel bad for the whole situation, I haven't kept up as much. So if I say something um, inappropriate, I do apologize. That's not my intent. I'm going to try to say the best I can off the knowledge I have. They've been doing a very impressive job for what they're up against, though. I don't say that. But apparently, they quoted one piece on their Twitter. Uh, Defense of Ukraine. Power isn't determined by the size, by your size, but the size of your heart and dreams. One key thing. And I'm... I don't know if that's really from One Piece. I'd have to check that, but if that's really it, I can't believe that Ukraine quoted One Piece on there. Like, that's just, that seems so weird to me. I'm a huge One Piece fan, so I think it's kind of funny. But if they really did, I'm very surprised that they did, because it's just such a, it's a very different thing to quote, you know? Like, you wouldn't expect them to quote that, but if they did, good for them. It was very interesting. Caught me off guard. I'm gonna sell all these first um, 20 ports from probably each the Hunter, Tabby, not the Hunter, the Hunter Con, Hunter Con, yeah, and the Rock Tabbies. I'm gonna first sell these and then I'm gonna put the rest in the refinery. Just because we need to start getting some science to me. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just caught me soft guard because like I said, I was just um, I was just cutting to get us here instead of having to make you guys watch the whole walk back from uh, the Rainbow Don't remember the name. A Rainbow Island. From Rainbow Island all the way back. And he my friend just texted me, I was like, oh, that's what is going on? But yeah, apparently that is something that they tweeted. And you can find the tweet too, which I again I don't know if it's legit. 
it could be some like I don't know. It's just something that caught me off guard. I thought it was kind of funny, and I just want to mention it. Again, I don't know if that's real, and uh, I mean, if it is, good for them for you know doing that. I guess I don't know how. To, I don't really know how to react to that. It's just such a random thing I didn't expect to see. Not only just like today, but in general, because it's just such a such an out there thing. You know? it's, it's unexpected. But if that's legit, um, <laughs> that's kind of it's crazy how that works. It's really weird how One Piece has not like it ingrained itself into like people's cultures, like very slowly, but subtly. Like it was like what the Olympic Games, the weightlifter. I don't remember his name, and I really do wish I did, but, um, he does Frankie's pose, I think, afterwards, right? That's a thing that happened. It's just so weird how One Piece has kind of joined with different cultures. I guess that's kind of, like, the beauty of what One Piece is, how it, it's not just a, a card, like, an anime and manga, but it also does have some respective place in different people's cultures. I don't know, I'm getting weird about this, but anyway. Oh, okay, so we got something from Victor, okay. I don't have a voice during that, so I'm just gonna read them as it is. Beatrix, I've done it. I believe I've cracked the super mysterious code that was sent to me. It was outstandingly complex. I believe that the AI that created this code displays a comparable intellect to my own. You can boast your own ego there, Victor. So very advanced, almost alien. Oh, you're probably wondering what it said. Well, I determined this mysterious, perhaps even alien AI sent a message that says, Hello. Okay. Not much, but pleasantries count for something. More importantly, though, the moment I cracked it, I received another message. It's almost as though the mysterious AI is monitoring me. How exciting. I haven't encrypted it yet, but the code is con considerably very com uh, more, more complex. This should be fun. Well, back to work as ever. Interesting. Okay, so it's just said hello in a very complicated manner. I guess to agree that's to be expected. You know, are you gonna like? Will you blind me if I stand too close, or is it like? I really want to see. I'm really intrigued by this. But uh. Yeah, sorry about that rant, rant guys about One Piece, it just, it caught me off guard, like I said, it was very interesting to learn about, um, you know, that, you know, just in general, because again, you don't expect to see something like that, I don't know if it's true again, if that was really them doing that or what, but, I mean, I guess Ukraine is a bunch of One Piece fans then, our, our society is weird sometimes. Human society is just very interesting, is what I'm going to say. It's very interesting, to say the least, really. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more con ports into the refinery, and then hopefully I can actually um, upgrade and get some more tech going, or start getting tech, not more tech we don't have any, it'd be good to start getting some sort of gear going. Okay, so we need money for that apparently, so let's sell the rest of these ports first, so we can afford to get the upgrades. They're called new blocks, I didn't know they were called new blocks, but okay, that's what they're called. I would just call it like gold coin or slime coin, but it's new bucks. There we go. So we have the resource harvester or the core power core. Personally, I think the resource harvester would be better so we can start doing more advanced things like collecting buzz wax, um, lava dust, stuff like that. So, yeah. Cool. So now we can harvest things. So that's pretty neat. It's definitely a step up from where we were just a little bit ago. So, yeah. Let's... It's just the view. Nice. Alright. 
Well, um, we got something done. I know it was very. It's, we didn't do a ton, but we got something done. We got uh, honey angler slimes, or we're gonna have honey angler slimes right now. We're just waiting on them to, you know, have ports to share between them. In fact, this is actually the moment we've been waiting for. Right now, let's put some new mangoes. The way they eat. Oh my god, that's kind of horrifying, but I love it. Because it makes so much sense for, a, for them to eat it that way. Because it's an angler, but I didn't expect it to look the way it did. What the heck? Oh my god, that just caught me so off guard. I didn't expect it. No. Eat the... There we go. Alright, well now they've all eaten. A4. Yeah, sick. Alright. We got some uh some angler ports now. Or at we already did have some now, but more consistent amount of them. In fact what I'm gonna use is use this money to um, upgrade the garden so that they start getting more consistently I have. Why did I just... Okay, I'm not going to question that. I'm just going to go with the fact that I just flew for a couple seconds there. And just move on. Weird. Right, now we have nutrients, soil, and sprinkler, so this should grow at a decently fast pace. But until then, we're going to knock this back down to a slower speed. They blind each other, too. <laughs> They're not the smartest, are they? I gotta, I gotta admit, I love these guys, though. I think these are, like, my favorites. I hate to say it, but I think they're my favorites out of all these guys. Alright, but, uh, yeah. I think this is a good stopping point, you know? We got some, some stuff done. We discovered a tunnel. We discovered more area to search. Uh, yeah, I think, you know... We'll continue searching uh, the Rainbow Island. I'm starting to get its name down. It'll take me a little bit, but I'm starting to get more consistent with it. I think we'll explore the Rainbow Island in a little bit more depth, you know, check it out more. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll start exploring other areas, trying to unlock the rest of the land. Because like, uh, I know that pink border in the... Uh, we're in the what? We're part of the... This is the Rainbow Island. We're at the conservatory. Is it just called the conservatory this area? Uh, well, we'll explore more of this area because I know that Gordo, and maybe unlocking that pink Gordo means we can unlock another area. I don't know. We will find out. But yeah, uh, how did you get out? Okay. I'm just gonna put you back. But yeah, uh, I think we're gonna call it there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you guys in the next episode of Slime Rancher 2. Bye-bye.